In this tutorial, we'll look at how to customize the font family in Bootstrap. All right, so you have a couple of options to do this. You can go into the source code of, of Bootstrap and change it there. But let's start off with a simple way of doing it. So let's say you're using the CDN links and you, uh, right, so I'm using uh, Bootstrap here. I've included it here. And now I've added some text to the page. So what you're going to get is something like this. This is the font that you're going to get. And we can actually see what they, what Bootstrap is using or what Bootstrap has set as the font family. So it's going to see, let's see, it, it's actually using some uh, variable, right? So this is called a custom property in CSS or just a variable. And we can actually override that variable. So you can just go to your CSS and you can use root. This is typically how it's done. And you can set that variable, right? So it's, it's something like BS body font family. And let's say we want to use uh, Roboto. And if Roboto is not available, pick any sans serif font, right? That's usually how font families work or the font family property works. You have some preferred uh, font. And then if it's not available, just pick any sans serif font, right? Simple font family value. Now Roboto, we do need to make sure that it's included here in our HTML. So we can go to Google Fonts and you'll see Roboto here, right? And you can pick the font weights that you want. So let's say 400. I actually already clicked on it. Um, so it's, it actually remembered that. Now let's say I want 500 as well and bold as well. Then you can click on this icon here and it opens up a side drawer. Now it shows you how to include it. You can include it with an import rule in CSS or just with these links in your HTML. Let's do that. I actually paste that here at the top. It gives you uh, three links actually at time of recording this because sometimes they change and I think this was like a recent change. Uh, these two are basically optimizations and this is the imported one. So now Roboto is included and actually this is inter. So did I make a mistake here? Let's see. Yeah, so for some reason it's giving me inter. I think that's because I've, I've looked on this website before and it's sort of, it is sort of uh, caching the value, right? It doesn't really matter for the video here. As long as you in include the font. Now if you refresh, you can see it has slightly changed. Maybe it's not very obvious. But if you look at computed, it should still show the... Uh, the variable and if you click on that it, it will show you that the value is now roboto for that uh, variable right so this is one quick easy way of doing it now another way of doing it instead of doing it with this um you know root and then variable you could also select the body for example and just set something like font family roboto sans serif and then important to to override the value from um bootstrap so when you do that Let's see here. We still, we can still see that it has picked indeed Roboto, right? So this is a bit of a dirty way of doing it with the important rules generally considered the best, a, a bad practice. I have a whole course on CSS, by the way, it's really important that you have mastered it. It's if, if you work with the front end, it only takes a couple of hours, but it will benefit you for the rest of your career. So definitely check it out. The link is in the description. All right. So now let's take a look at how to do this in SAS. So I'm going to open this up another HTML file here. Um, so I have a whole video on how to set up bootstrap by using NPM install, right? So now we're not using the CDN links, but we're going to use an NPM to install it locally on our computer. Um, you can watch the video on that NPM install bootstrap on how to do that properly, but you can do it in there as well. So now we're, we're back to square one here, right? So here, let's see, compute it. It's still font family. It's still that variable that they have set, the default one. What you can do is in SAS, you can uh, use the same actually. So you can just say root. And you can, you can set that variable, right? So you can say BS body font family, and then we want Roboto, right? Sans serif. Now here we do need to include Roboto again, right? So here in the HTML, I have not included it yet. So what you can do is you can use the import statement here, right? Make sure it comes before uh, the root and actually it's doing enter again. Right, it doesn't really matter for the concept of the video, but for some reason it's doing that for me. So now when I do this and refresh, actually didn't work. Let's check it out. Uh, it didn't work, of course, uh, because I wasn't um, compiling the SAS yet. So I'm using a live SAS comp compile uh, extension. Right, so with SAS, you need to make sure you compile this to regular CSS. So now I've installed that, uh, of our, I've, I've, I'm running that extension. Make sure you watch my NPM install bootstrap video if you want to know how to uh, set it up with SAS and compiling it. Now when I now refresh, you can see that the text has slightly changed to become that uh, Roboto font. Let's double check. So here, let's see. 
Yeah, so now it has become Roboto, right? So you can also do it in the so in, in the SAS like this if you're working with the source code. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.